Hi, in this video, I will guide you how to export MySQL database using MySQL Workbench program. For example, I export a database from a local development computer to import it in the remote production server computer. In details, I will show you how to export a MySQL database to a single self-contained file and how to include create a schema statement in the SQL file and how to export a database to separate a SQL files for each table in the database and how to export multiple databases. You see this here MySQL Workbench program on my computer and now let me uh, connect to the local MySQL uh, database server on localhost here. And I want to export the database uh, shop me uh, DB here. So in MySQL Workbench, you can go to the menu server and you can see the menu uh, data export here. And here you can choose the database you want to export. Here I choose the database ShopMeDB. And you can also choose uh, which tables uh, uh, need uh, to be uh, uh, exported. Here I choose all the tables in the database by default. And the most common option is to export to a self-contained file here. Uh, which is very convenient to import in uh, another computer. And uh, this option, uh, whether or not you check this option, it doesn't uh, change the uh, exported uh, SQL file. So here um, you can choose a uh, directory where the SQL file will be uh, exported to. Or change the file name. Yeah, I, I use the default name. You can see my SQL Workbench automatically appends the uh, current uh, uh, date, year, uh, month, and date here. That's it. And click the button Start uh, Export. And you can see Export completed. And now we can open this directory to see the content of the dumb uh, SQL file. So I open my computer, I go to the dump directory here, and this is a dump file, a SQL file, has been exported by my SQL Workbench. And this is actually a text file, so we can open it using any text editor. Uh, let me open using a Notepad++ application, and you can see the content of the file is set up many SQL statements to create a table here. You see, and know that uh, it doesn't contain the uh, create database or create schema statement. And you can see it contains the SQL statements to create the tables and also the insert into a SQL statement to insert the data. So this dump file contains uh, both uh, SQL statements to create the tables and also insert the uh, data, the information in the database. Now let's uh, export a database including the create uh, schema statement or create database statement. Uh, so go to the menu server data export and choose the database name shop me db here and uh, the option uh, export to self contained file and check this option include create schema here and click start export done and uh, this is the second uh, sql file is a dump file that includes the create schema statement and let's open this file in a text editor to see the content and you can see uh, it uh, includes the 
create database if not exist here in the name of the database here so this uh, self-contained SQL file is very convenient to import uh, in another computer and it also we create the database if not exist Let me show you how to uh, export uh, a database into separate uh, SQL files uh, for each table in the database. So go to menu server data export. Here, choose the database ShopMeDB here. And in the export option, uh, choose this option. And export to dump project folder here. And this is a um, directory name. I change to ShopMe. DB. Okay, and click start export. Done. And you can see it uh, exports uh, to several uh, SQL files for each table in the database. And this is a result submit DB directory. And you can see you know, several uh, SQL files, each file for each table in the database. And let's open a file in. Um, a text editor, for example, the rest is table here, and you can see the SQL statements to create the table and insert a statement to insert data for the table for that table only. And each, each SQL file is for each table in the database. Let me show you how to export uh, multiple databases uh, to a single self-contained file server data export and here we can choose uh, multiple databases uh, for example I want to export this bookstore uh, database shop me database and my uh, and contact uh, DB and database three databases and uh, with uh, exporting multiple databases, uh, it is recommended to include the create uh, uh, schema in the SQL files and choose to uh, export to a self contained file here and click start export. And uh, this is a, a result here. We have only uh, one. A single a self contained uh, SQL file here. Let's see uh, this content of this file in a text editor. And you can see it includes the career database statement for contact DB, career uh, table statements, insert uh, SQL statements. And for the second database, a bookstore here, you see. And for the third database, uh, SubmeDB here, you see. Furthermore, you can uh, uh, explore uh, other options. Uh, let me show you. Uh, for a single database, you can uh, filter the uh, tables uh, which you can you want to uh, export here, and you can also choose. Uh, to dump structure and data uh, or dump data only or dump structure only by default uh, dump structure and data we uh, generate the SQL statements to create the tables and insert data into the tables and you can also choose objects to export uh, for example uh, start uh, procedures and function events uh, triggers if you want I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, please uh, help me to grow this channel by clicking the button subscribe and then like, comment and share this video. Thanks for watching.